Apophenia, do you know what Wikipedia says about it? The term is a misnomer incorrectly attributed to Klaus Conrad by Peter Brugger, who defined it as the unmotivated seeing of connections accompanied by specific experience of an abnormal meaningfulness. It has come to represent the human tendency to seek patterns and random information in general such as gambling, paranormal phenomenon and religion. Almost just looking for patterns, seeing the face of the Virgin Mary and child and a piece of burnt toast, seeing Jesus or angels in the clouds and attaching a put importance to it. And I think that it's it's a phenomenon that uh, perhaps even though we don't admit it to ourselves, it rules our lives. We look for these connections, we look for meaningfulness in numbers or in names or in things that we see. I remember once I was in a betting shop, South from Wall, Essex. I was having a bad day. I wasn't winning anything. And I went up to the man behind the counter who was taking my money. And I said, I'm having a terrible day. I'm losing every single race. Give me a winner. And I said, OK, back this horse in the next race. Well, I had nothing to lose. I backed it. And it came in. I had a winner. Yeah, it felt good. I went up to him and I thanked him. I said, thanks very much. But uh, that's my first winner today. And he said to me, you're riding with the king. Riding with the king. What did he mean, riding with the king? And I said to him, what do you mean, riding with the king? He said, look, here's my name badge, Alan King. That's who he was. And I said, well, thank you, Alan, for that. It was the last race of the day. It was going to be broadcast on the television from Plumpton. It was a bumper. Hardly any of the horses had ever run before. I looked down the form. There was no form there. Usually it tells you whether, where they did place first, second, third, ninth, whatever. It was just zeros or nothing there at all. Okay, the way the next thing you look at, you look for jockeys. Is there a jockey booking that might sort of give you a hint that uh, there's a horse here that might do something. There was no special jockey bookings. They were all amateurs or apprentice jockeys. What do you look for next? You look for the trainers. Are there any good trainers on there? I looked down. A king. Ready with the king. A king, ready with the king. A king, there was the connection. What was the price of the horse? 33 to 1. Complete rank outsider with no chance. What is a five pound each way on that horse? We watch it. And it robs home. I claim over 200 quid on that five pound each way bet. So that's my story of how apophenia influences the decisions that we make in our life and the connections we want to see. But be very careful, it doesn't ruin you as well. This song has got two names in it, Tonto and King Osabi, and both of them are the names of horses, so I think I'm safe. But it's uh, by I Love It, If I Had a Pony, for season 75. If I had a boat, go out on the ocean. If I had a pony, I'd ride him on my boat. Sugar, so way out on the water, me a 
Oh, 